Today I'm going to show you how to make almond flour waffles that only takes a few ingredients, not long to make, and I've written a full blog post with the recipe which I'll leave down below. And in the past I've also shared coconut flour waffles, so I'll leave a link to that as well. So you can make almond flour, coconut flour, whatever you feel like, mix and match it. But today it's all about almond flour, so let me show you how to make them. Okay, I've got my waffle maker over here heating up, getting ready. I've got four eggs in a bowl, which I'm just going to whisk until nice and smooth. Okay, it's really just a matter of adding in th this three more ingredients. So that is it. And first is a quarter of a cup of cream. Just use whatever cream you've got to hand. We'll whisk that in. We'll add a pinch of salt and our almond flour or ground almonds. I've got a cup going in. Obviously, if you use almond flour, it'll be much finer. Ground almonds will be a little bit thicker, a little denser, but that's okay with me. Okay, yes. See, it just comes together as this beautiful batter. When you start seeing bubbles on the surface, then you know you're good to go. Yep, so now I've got my waffle maker heated and I'm just gonna fill it in, cook them according to the instructions on your own waffle maker. Um, my one, just I just fill them up and mine's actually a flip one. So once it's cooked after a few minutes, I can actually flip it over to cook it through on both sides but you might need to actually flip the waffles to get them cooked through on both sides. As I said, follow the instructions in your waffle maker manual. So let's get our waffles made. Okay, now make sure your waffle maker is nice and greased and we're just going to fill it up. It's important to get just the right amount. You don't want to overfill it and you don't want to have underfill it and have any little gaps. So get it just perfect. And this batter makes about four complete waffles. Okay, batter is in, made you know, a little bit of mess, but we'll just close it up. And mine cooks for just a couple of minutes aside. I leave it be for three, four minutes, and then just check it's set on that side, turn it over, really just cook it until they're done, and I'll show you my cooked waffles. Okay, I think the waffles are done. Yes, I've got a plate over here ready for them. I like using one of these little egg lifters to get them out without damaging them too much. There we go, one waffle. Look how beautiful they look. Oh, and two, they're hot. And now I'm just gonna make the other two. It obviously just depends on the size of your waffle maker or how many you get. I tend to get four, although for some reason today maybe my eggs were different shape or I whipped them to a different volume. I reckon I'm going to get more than four, which is pretty cool. More waffles for the kids. And perfect. So we're going to pop these on and cook our second round of waffles. There we go. Actually, I'll stack these up and we'll get these out. Oh yeah, they're hot. Let's get the other one. Now for toppings, if you want savory, you can go fry up some eggs or have some have a little bit of meat and eggs on. I once had some leftover silver side and some fried eggs and it was just such a beautiful big breakfast. Or you can pop traditional strawberries and cream, any berries, anything you like. You could have anything you like, just use it in place that you would normally use bread or any kind of breakfast waffle and yeah, so good. And remember, check down below for the link to the blog post where you can get the full recipe for these almond flour waffles and make sure that you leave a like and subscribe for more videos too and leave a comment, let me know if you've tried this recipe, what waffle topping you have on top. I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.